What's up everybody, Silver here with another Halo Master Chief Collection Achievement Guide. This time we're doing Making History, which is in Halo 3, beat the part-time on the level Cortana. So start that up, you could do this on any difficulty with any skulls on. I have no skulls on, and I'm doing this on easy. I actually have different starting weapons right now than you would normally if you just started up randomly, because of the fact that these are the weapons I had left over at the end of the Covenant, so... This is the level right after the Covenant, so the weapons I finished with on that level carried over to this one, but it doesn't really matter for the most part. I picked up a spike rifle here just so it's more in line with what I would have, even though that's not what I would have, but I'm trying to make it a little more legit. But in any case, I don't really use any weapons until I get further along and pick up a sword and a carbine, so I'm not really going to use weapons at all anyway right now, so... There will be many instances throughout this level where Cortana stops you like this, and it's kind of annoying. And also the Gravemind will stop you as well in a different way. Well, pretty much the same way, but it's just a different animation. And you can't actually see him like you could see Cortana kind of freaking out when she stops you. But just follow this path. You're not going to take too much damage or too many hits because it's uneasy. So even if you do take hits, it won't be that bad. Your shield, you can see my shield, is currently all the way up almost. Until I just said that and now the carrier form blew up and it's half down. So you can see the carrier forms are really the things you want to watch out for. I kind of use that carrier form for a little boost, but it does take away like half your shield. So you want to beware of those guys. Those are one of the only ways you could die quickly is a couple carrier forms going off. So steer clear of those guys if you can. And just follow this path. A lot of this level is going to be just running straight through it. That's the case for all the levels on easy, pretty much. You could run by a lot of the enemies, or all of them, but some sections you have to actually fight off a bunch of enemies before you could actually progress. I don't think that's the case. I don't think there's any section in this level where you have to actually hold out and kill enemies before proceeding to the next section. So I think we really are just going to be running through the entire level. So I'll just show you that. And just, you know, take a stroll, take a walk with me. And, uh, I'll show you some nifty shortcuts along the way, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Grab this sword, though. It's always helpful to have a sword. I usually grab that carbine as well, but I have this BR left over from my Covenant run-through. Even though I'd probably rather have a carbine at this point, because it probably had more ammo than what I currently have in my BR. I don't really use the BR, though, but run straight through this room, and I grabbed the active camera right there. So that's going to be very helpful. I don't think I actually use it until the very end, but you can just hang on to it until you need it. You may never need it, but it's good to have in case of an emergency. So there's a couple carrier forms in here. You can see they're taking down my shield pretty fiercely. It's now... Ooh, I thought that carrier form was going to take it all the way down after that first one took it halfway down. That was kind of close. Normally on legendary or higher difficulties in general, I'll use the camo in this room because there's actually a lot of instances of camo. You could pick up camo in a myriad of places on this map or mission, it's not a map, but just run through here, this is Hell's Hallway, quote unquote, that's the section this is known as, so it wasn't too hellish this time around, but higher difficulties definitely would be, and now we're gonna get stopped by the grave mine again, because, I mean, I guess he thinks we have time to listen to his crap, but, you know, we got lots of stuff to do, we got a whole other level to get through, and, uh, we got this one to get through still, I mean, we're only halfway through-ish or something, not even halfway, so let's continue on here, through these gross-looking, uh, you know, doorways, which I won't, I won't mention what they look like, but they look like something, and that something is not pleasant. You can see there's more camo there near those spider dudes that I just smacked. There's a couple there actually. In case you're playing co-op or you just used yours already, but there's a cluster of enemies here. They're not normally all clustered around here. Usually, you could get through there a little faster. We had to kind of deal with those guys. They were right in front of us, a big group of them. But just follow this path. If you can't do that jump, obviously that was kind of a trick jump for uh, for speedrunning or lazo purposes, but obviously you could just walk up and around you would normally if you can't do that trick. It's not too hard, but I mean, why make it harder if it doesn't need to be harder? So here's another section. We know we're going to get talked to by somebody because it's an empty hallway and we have nobody to fight, so... Oh, a nice empty hallway so I could collect my thoughts. Oh, wait, no, how about, uh, you know, my crazy psychotic girlfriend, you know, somehow gets into my brain and starts messing around and sending me messages and this also extra galactic, gigantic, gross pile of corpses. How about he gets in my brain as well and slows me down? That seems pleasant. Uh, not really. Let's, uh, let's, let's continue on. All these guys, this is a weird room because a lot of the... Enemies are here, but they're not active, like they have no AI, like these spider-looking dudes. They just stand here. They don't attack you for some reason. You can see some of them were attacking me, uh, the ones that were shooting at me, but like this guy right here, look at him. 
He is not doing anything. And even if I like walked up right in front of him and was like, hey guy, hey what up buddy? He still would not attack me. It's very weird. I don't know why that happened. I don't know if that's a glitch or an oversight or something. But uh, a lot of the enemies in that room initially have no AI at all. But just follow this path. I actually passed by some more camo in case you're playing four player co-op. There are four camos in here, so you could have one for each of you. And yes, you can get all the par times and par score achievements just by playing co-op. You don't need to play solo. But obviously I do these guides solo just to show you that it is possible, of course. And here we're getting stopped by Gravemind and Cortana again. And we are about to save Cortana. She is in this room in this little dome of light, this big snow globe, I guess. And I skipped the cutscene. There's a nice little cutscene. One of the best ones, I think, from Halo 3. But I skipped it for the purposes of this video because uh, I'm sure you could just watch it on your own time and you don't want to see me do that. But here is Gravemind freaking out, saying like, Oh my god, you tricked me. And I'm like, yeah, we did. Let's go. Let's get out of here. It's like we're kind of in his like stomach or something when it kind of narrows my vision. And all I could hear is him and it's rattling around and stuff. It's kind of weird. It's like I'm inside him or something. I guess we're kind of inside him since he's like all knowing about everywhere that the flood are. So we're kind of, it's kind of like we're inside him since we're in a big flood infested ship. But So now we basically just have to backtrack through the level. But we're going to take some different paths slightly. But you need to activate the center console thing first in this room. And it will deploy three whatever these things are. Destroy the reactors. So you could stick them actually. They wouldn't stick to it, but you could stick uh, the plasma grenade onto the platform. And that will kill it. And what else do I need? This one right here. You could actually stick that with a spike grenade. That's very effective. You could also shoot them all with brute shots. And that's very effective. Of course, you could just run and jump onto them and beat them down as well, but I like to throw grenades if I can because obviously that is way quicker. This door will open. Watch out, there's a mauler that comes through. Obviously, he's not as threatening on this difficulty, but on higher difficulties, he could just one-shot kill you, so that's not cool. And now we are back in Hell's Hallway. We kind of drop down from the ceiling into this section, so we just got to go back to the beginning of the level. Like we do, you know. I like to try to stay on top of these flood rafters, for lack of a better term. So you're high above the enemies. If you fall down, it's totally fine. It's not bad. But just run by. Keep running. We have 15 minutes to complete this part-time. So we're going to get that, as you can see by the length of the video. And we're running back through the room where we initially picked up some active camo. Just run straight through again. There's some enemies behind me, but I'm just going to ignore them. I use the camo right about here on any difficulty that I'm doing this on. And there's a big tank form that busts through the wall here. And we got to go through that wall that I just busted through. And just follow this path. It's kind of confusing sometimes if you haven't played this level that much. And just keep moving through. Basically, again, just running to the end of this point. So I guess I'll take some time right now to promote the channel like I always do. Or I have been lately. Uh, this channel is dedicated to all Halo achievements. So for all the Halo games, I'll be covering every single achievement. Even if they're ridiculously hard or ridiculously easy. So that's for all Halo games. Obviously, I'm focusing on Master Chief Collection right now because it's the most current title. So once I have that completed, I will move on to a previous Halo title. But obviously, I'll probably finish this around the time that Halo 5 comes out. So I'll probably just focus on Halo 5. And then once that is done, I'll go back and do some older Halo games like Halo Reach, Halo 3 ODST, the original, uh, Halo 2 Vista even, uh, Spartan Strike, Spartan Assault. Any Halo game you could think of, I'll be covering all the achievements and even all the commendations. So for games like Halo Reach, Halo 4, and Halo 5, and any after that have commendations, I'll be covering those as well. And again, I want to stress that I'll be covering all the hardest achievements as well. So I have Lazo guides up actually for CE234 and ODST for the Master Chief Collection. I don't think any other channel has Lazo guides or at least covering all of the levels on Lazo all in one place like this channel does. So click like and subscribe if you're into that. We're at the end of this level. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later for more Halo achievements.